I want to bring up the CEO and co-founder of Magento, Roy Rubin. <laughs> First off, thank you, Bob. You know, I came to Bob um, a few months ago, and Bob's been with us for just over a year, and Bob's gotten to know me pretty well in that time. And I said, Bob, let's, let's see if we can put together a conference. It's about time that we take a stand and share with the world what we've been working so hard um, and, and, and do this in a face-to-face -face format. And I came to Bob, and I said, Bob, we've got 90 days. We've got a lot of things to talk about here with the audience, and let's see what can happen. And Bob, who's uh, proven himself time and time again, has put this together. How incredible is that? So thank you, Bob. It's so great to see hundreds, and cus hundreds of customers and partners here in one room, and I'm really looking forward to spending the next two days working with you. We chose Imagine as the name for our conference because Imagine captures the key benefits of our platform, freeing merchants to use their imaginations to create the stores they want without being constrained by the limitations of software. And Magento frees merchants to, and developers to build applications, extensions, and new functionalities for their customers. But imagination was not a word I would have associated with open source just a few years ago. A better word would have been frustration. Many merchants experience, experience frustration as they try to develop their e-commerce sites. As merchants try to find solutions, the, uh, the answers I heard most was no. No, you can't get that functionality. No, you can't customize that screen. No, you can't have that feature you want. I want to take a quick trip back to the past, to the era of frustration, to see how Magento helped move this market from frustration to imagination. The story starts 10 years ago when I started a web development company in 2001 out of my bedroom. The company was called Varian. And like many growing service companies, we did much of everything. We did uh, logo designs, we did content management systems, any web application you can imagine, we did it all. Whatever the clients wanted, the answer was yes. Within a few years, the company, again, called Varian, had hired several people and narrowed our focus to e-commerce. Well, why e-commerce? For one thing, the opportunity was there. We had more e-commerce development business that we could handle. And we believe this is a market that would continue to grow for many years to come. What's more, customers were desperate for help to bring their, their stores online, and we had developed the expertise on how to do that. Soon we had so much business that I had to step away from programming and focus my energy on running the business. And fortunately, by that time, Yoav Kutner had joined the team. Yoav is the CTO and co-founder of Magento. Yoav and his team will be up here tomorrow to share with you the latest on our product offerings. I'm sure many of you are eagerly awaiting the uh, details. Okay, let's jump ahead to our story in 2006. Our company had more clients and more employees, but with more growth came more frustration with existing open source solutions. Merchants were frustrated with the limited functionality of existing platforms. They were tired of having upgrades invalidate prior customizations. They wanted to run multiple stores from a single instance. They were frustrated with the lack of vision in open source. And most of all, merchants wanted to provide input, to collaborate, and to be listened to. We recently asked a few of our customers and solution partners to talk about their life before Magento. And here's what they had to say. Those first generation open source solutions had severe limitations. Many of them didn't have APIs, many of them weren't extensible. Code was poorly written, maintenance was a real nightmare, uh, trying to extend the platform was a real uh, pain in the neck. There was no portability, there was no chance to install it on your own. Many of them simply couldn't scale. Also trying to answer our clients' business needs was also a very large undertaking. In addition, these proprietary platforms were very locked down. Uh, you couldn't make modifications, you couldn't do extensions very easily. As a business started to grow, their e-commerce system simply wouldn't grow with it. They did not bring really much of a customizability without huge amounts of cost and the projects and time involved. If I had to sum up uh, our third-party platform experience part of Magento, 
Um, prior to Magento, we didn't retain full control over our e-commerce experience. The good news for our company was that our customers' frustration meant more business for us. The bad news was that our engineers were getting frustrated as well. The work was repetitive, inefficient, and tedious. From an engineering standpoint, the limitations of open source e-commerce platforms were maddening. And so in 2006, we were faced with a decision. Did we want to keep building our business around a limited platform or limited platforms? Or were we willing to put our expertise to work to develop something better? So we asked ourselves, what would the right open source e-commerce platform look like? What would it take to build it? How could we tap into the community to deliver the full potential, the full potential of open source? We knew that it would take thousands of hours, thousands and thousands of hours, to build the right platform. Those were hours that we as a business could have built for profitable work. So from a business standpoint, taking on this task was a very risky project. But as engineers, we knew in our gut that we had to give this a try. And so after months of strategizing and planning, we took the plunge and we began building Magento. Early on in the process, we created the Magento blog to connect with the larger e-commerce community. And the community wasn't shy about sharing their ideas for what a better solution would look like. And here on the screen, we have that uh, blog post. And so the community needed a part, needed, I'm sorry, the, the community's needs became a big part of our thinking right from the start. We had clear goals for this new platform right at the beginning, to give users a more robust feature set right out of the box, to provide developers with an easier path to upgrade and create extensions, to include the functionality and flexibility that the market wanted. And we wanted to create a platform that would be highly modular. Finally, on August 31st of 2007, after more long nights than any of us care to remember, the Magento beta version was released. And that's when the real madness began. Within 100 days, we had more than 70,000 downloads. We had more than 5,000 community members, 10,000 forum posts, 15 translations for the product, and seven releases. Maybe we should have anticipated this rapid uptake, but we didn't. And that brings me to two important things you should know about Yoav, myself, and the entire Magento team. The first is, and, and you have to forgive me if this sounds immodest, we're smart. We're really, <laughs> we're smart enough to recognize an opportunity and take action on it. The second thing is that we're not that smart. We didn't get into this with a grand vision. We never set out to dazzle investors and raise millions in venture capital. We don't have a plan for world domination. The good, the good thing about not being that smart is that, we, is that we never try to outsmart the market. We try to serve the market. We do this by tapping into the creativity, knowledge, and passion of the e-commerce community. At Magento, we're committed to the growth of the entire e-commerce ecosystem. We believe in the power of partnership, community, collaboration, transparency, and before making any major decision, we ask ourselves, is it good for e-commerce? And if the answer is yes, we move forward and we do it. It's as simple as that. We call Magento the e-commerce platform for growth. And that growth doesn't just come from the features we built in. It also comes from the features that we've left, up, left out, from the holes we've left in the system. The Magento platform invites developers to come on in and to make it work for their clients. If a merchant can, ima can imagine it, odds are it can happen with Magento. I'll say it again, the team at Magento is smart, but not that smart. But with this community behind us, the possibilities are endless. I think of e-commerce before Magento as a club. With a velvet rope and a menacing bouncer at the door, you needed lots of money and patience to get in. And even for those on the inside, the club wasn't that much fun. <laughs> Drinks were expensive, the music was lousy, there were too many rules. The e-commerce club did not have a good vibe. 
Then came Magento. <laughs> Almost overnight, barriers to entry melted away. The bouncer was gone, the velvet rope came down, the e-commerce club became more welcoming, more inviting. Merchants came in and started hooking up. <laughs> Magento changed the vibe of this, of this club. It made it more creative and collaborative. Now the music sounds better, the drinks are stronger, and people just keep on coming in. Okay, let's bring our story up to the present. Today, Magento is the fastest growing e-commerce e platform in the world. It powers more than 90,000 merchant sites, generating over $25 billion in annual sales. We have over 225 solution partners that deploy and deliver Magento solutions. And, the, and an active community of over 300,000 developers, merchants, designers on our, on our um, community. The Magento Enterprise Edition has been adopted by the full continuum of e-commerce companies, from startups and venture-backed innovators to mainstream brands and some of the world's largest retailers. These are just a few of the world-class brands that have selected the Magento Enterprise Edition. And we're adding more than 100 new enterprise-class customers every single month. Incredible. We've grown the company from 45 employees in 2007 to 230 employees today. Our revenues have increased by 300% in 2010 uh, when comparing to 2009. And my favorite, favorite stat of all, Magento is Googled more than e-commerce. How incredible is that? That definitely deserves a round of applause. We have a clear mission to empower the e-commerce ecosystem. We talk about that a lot here. We pursue that mission by developing flexible products that meet the needs of merchants by partnering with world-class solution providers, by actively engaging with the community, and by maintaining a focus on innovation. In pursuing our mission, we've expanded our product offerings. Let's take a look at the Magento lineup as it stands today. The Enterprise Edition is our flagship product and the cornerstone of our business. It offers merchants unprecedented flexibility and control over the user experience, the content and functionality of online stores, and it includes our highest level of support. Partners can bring the full power of Magento to life using the Enterprise Edition. Magento Professional is our commercial entry level point to uh, Magento's fully supported product line. The Professional Edition's exclusive features include the Magento Secure Payment Bridge, which simplifies PCI compliance and dramatically reduces costs. The Community Edition was our first offering and is still at the heart of the Magento community. Free to download and open to all, the Community Edition serves as a laboratory for innovation and a risk-free way for developers and merchants to explore the Magento platform. Most recently, we introduced Magento Mobile. Magento Mobile enables merchants to create branded native storefront applications that integrate with the Magento platform. In addition to investing in mobile native apps, we're also supporting the mobile web. So whichever ways the mobile commerce market moves, Magento will be positioned to grow with it. Every one of these products has been greeted enthusiastically by our partners and customers, and it's taken an incredible amount of effort to create, launch, and support these offerings. I'd like to take a moment to thank the Magento employees who have made our success possible, starting with our teams in Europe and Argentina, Round of applause for, for, for the teams, yes. Now, I'd like to thank the employees that are with us today. You guys are unbelievable. Let, stand up. All the Magento employees that are with us today, they're standing in the back, so you're not seeing much of them. We've got a few here. Thank you, guys. Incredible. A few minutes ago, we, we heard from some merchants and partners about their pre-Magento frustrations. Let's check back with them to see how Magento has changed our business. We've grown no less than 30 to 40 percent a year uh, since 2007, uh, and I would definitely attribute a large portion of our growth to Magento, uh, both because about half the clients come to us looking for a Magento system, 
uh, and the other half, um, you know, we're recommending Magento to them uh, as the platform of our choice. Whereas in the past, uh, we were turning away some customers based on the limitations of some of the platforms we were using and the cost. Here we are now with the ability to serve a wide range of customers, uh, from middle market customers to enterprise level customers with a robust platform at a very cost effective price, and also the flexibility is an excellent that Magento provides. You can grab the platform, put it on your servers, and just go to town with it. You can do whatever you want with it. You can play around with it. You can even try to customize and expand it and do a good proof of concept on your own. When you're ready, jump in. Since we've started implementing Magento, we have been creating happy customers. And when one of them calls, for example, we had a customer call a week after launch to tell us how happy they were with their site, which was a, a conversion from OS Commerce to Magento. They had doubled their conversion rate in the space of, a, of just that one single launch. Our customers want to do a lot of different things creatively. They don't want the site to look the same as other sites, so they really have a ton of flexibility in terms of what they can do and they're not locked into a template. So every Magento site that we do looks different. It lets you add as many attributes as you want to any product and use them any way you want. That's everything from a drag and drop cupcake builder um, all the way to you know very very complex shipping and uh, and fulfillment logic and integration on the back end. Since uh, integrating donations into the shopping experience, we found um, our customers are providing positive feedback, and we've seen our store conversions go up. Not only is it a powerful solution unto itself but it opens up all these other opportunities for us as a business. I love hearing stories like these. These stories and the growth metrics I shared with you earlier demonstrate that we're succeeding. The ecosystem is flourishing and Magento is at the core of this growth. We're thrilled at the growth of the Magento ecosystem, but we also know there's a lot more work to be done. When we sit, when we sit down with merchants and partners and customers, we don't just hear about what they love about Magento. They also tell us about what we could be doing better. And there's never, never a shortage of suggestions. That's actually a good thing. It means that there's room to improve. It means that there are new places to go. It means that your imaginations are helping to push us to the next level. So let's talk about the future. We have a lot of news to share with you here today. And I want to share the highlights with you here this morning. Our mission remains the same, to empower the e-commerce ecosystem. Each of the announcements uh, that we'll make this morning will strengthen the ecosystem and solidify Magento's place at the core of e-commerce. And the announcements I'll make towards the end of this presentation will radically expand the horizons of our ecosystem. So hold on tight. Let's start with Magento Mobile. Mobile commerce is the next frontier, and we're committed to being leaders in mobile commerce. We're introducing enhancements to our existing iPhone platform. And on top of that, we're expanding Magento Mobile today to include support for the Android and the iPad. These moves position Magento with a presence on all major smartphone and tablet platforms. No other platform provides this breadth of choice for mobile commerce. I'm also excited to introduce the Magento Community Edition 1.5. This release continues uh, th this release focuses on continued back-end optimizations, including a major upgrade to our import and export engine, with blazing results of importing up to 40 products per second. We've also expanded our call center functionality to support the full range of product types, and uh, this latest functionality provides uh, um, continued optimized conversions uh, for customers. In addition, we're now adding a, uh, a shopping cart API to Magento Score API, allowing more complex integrations with third-party solutions and services. This is a highly sought-after feature by developers, and we're excited to introduce uh, this feature into the Magento uh, platforms. Here's a cool statistic. Someone downloads the Magento Community ed Edition every 17 seconds. That's over 150,000 downloads a month. We'll continue improving this product because there's hunger in the community for this completely free and open solution. Our commitment to, to developing um, enterprise-leading 
Solutions continues with the release of the Magento Enterprise Edition 1.9 and now 1.10. These releases establishes new benchmarks for performance, scalability, and uh, other enterprise class features. Here's one example. In our latest release, we now support over 80,000 orders an hour. 80,000 orders an hour. And this is on a standard configuration. That's incredible. Other enterprise uh, edition features that we're releasing today include support for CDN, broader full page caching. We've also expanded our solar search capabilities. We've also expanded our customer focus features to include support for gift registry and personalized gift wrapping, as well as, as, well as customer attribute management, allowing merchants to collect enhanced data in the account and checkout process. These are just the highlights. We've packed the latest enterprise edition with features and improvements that will, that, will e that will enable even greater flexibility and growth. We know that creating a great platform and great products is just the beginning. And we're also focused on supporting the success of merchants and partners across the ecosystem. So over the next two days, you'll hear non-product news from us, including updates on our Magento Expert Consulting Group, our special team of experts that is focused on, on helping successful deployments of Magento across the ecosystem. You'll also learn about enhancements to our support, training, and education efforts, and we'll be previewing an expanded schedule of worldwide events. Now, we come to the biggest news we've had since the launch of the Magento, of the Magento beta version in 2007. Remember the club I spoke about earlier? with a bouncer that kept too many of us out before Magento? As I said, the bouncer is gone. The velvet rope is down. New merchants and developers are streaming in. But there's a huge number of merchants who are still on the outside. These merchants lack the size and technical sophistication to deploy Magento. They don't have the resources to engage our partners. And they don't want to deal with infrastructure issues. As a result, They've been unable to benefit from what this platform and this community have to offer. It's time to bring these merchants on the inside, and it's up to us to do it. Magento is the e-commerce platform for growth. We operate at the core of e-commerce. Our goal is to empower the e-commerce ecosystem. Now we've created a way to bring Magento to more merchants, to help them go from no to go. Introducing Magento Go, the next evolution of e-commerce. Round of applause, please. <laughs> Magento Go is a fully hosted turnkey solution that will enable small and emerging merchants to, to enjoy the benefits of Magento at a price they can afford. If our current products open the doors to the e-commerce club, Magento Go will blow the walls down. Here's a short video about our latest offering. So you just launched your business. Congratulations. But to make your business really grow, you know you got to sell online. Only problem is you're a business guy, not some techie. Luckily, you hear about Magento Go, a new turnkey service for Magento, the fastest growing e-commerce platform in the world, powering some of the largest and most visible global brands, including the North Face, Vizio, and Oneida. Magento Go makes it easy to plug into Magento's powerful platform to quickly create an online store. Magento Go handles all the complicated stuff for you. Servers, software, programming, and wraps it all into a simple web-based app that lets you easily design a store to match your brand. You can upload your logo, add products to your catalog, configure your store to accept credit cards, and even define your tax and shipping options. In minutes, you're ready to launch, all without ever touching any code. It's just that simple. Magento Go lets you focus on what you do best, running a business. So now that you're up and running, the only thing you need is customers. Magento Go's got you covered, arming you with an array of tools to attract new customers, including industry-leading search engine optimization, upsell and cross-sell tools, and a simple but powerful coupon and promotions engine. Next thing you know, your store is taking off, and Magento Go is growing with you. 
And best of all, all the power of Magento Go is available as a simple monthly service with different plans to fit the particular needs of your online business. There are no upfront costs, no cancellation fees, and we'll even give you a 30-day trial so you can see just how powerful simple can be. Magento Go brings the power and flexibility of Magento to software as a service. Now small and emerging merchants can participate in the Magento revolution. I say small and emerging because that's who we're initially targeting with this service. Magento Go is completely scalable and optimized for performance. This is a platform that can grow with the merchant's needs. We're solving PCI compliance for merchants as well, freeing them from compliance headaches and costs. The product is fully supported, so merchants can get their questions answered quickly and easily. Magento Go combines an entry-level price point with premium features, offering merchants unprecedented flexibility and control to design sites and create compelling user experiences. Every merchant has a vision for where they want their business to go. Magento Go will help them get there. We have another big piece of news. As you know, Magento leverages the power of the broader ecosystem to deliver the best results for merchants. So when we began creating Magento Go, we knew that an off-the-shelf software-as-a-service offering would not be good enough. We needed to take Magento Go to the next level. Actually, we needed you to take Magento Go to the next level. That's why we're introducing the Magento Go platform, a platform-as-a-service solution that will enable developers to build applications for Magento Go just as you've built applications for our deployed products. The energy and creativity of the Magento developer community meets the SaaS environment. That's what the Magento Go platform is all about. With these announcements, we're extending the Magento ecosystem now to the cloud. The Magento Go platform will feature a full range of APIs that will expose all, and I say this um, explicitly all of Magento's functionality, both front-end and back-end. The Magento Go platform will um, um, use its best-of-breed best standards such as Open Social and OAuth, and developers can use any programming language of their choice to create extensions. Just as Force.com enabled cloud business apps on the Salesforce.com platform, the Magento Go platform will open the development floodgates for e-commerce. Magento Go apps will work both on our SaaS and our deployed products of professional, community, and enterprise. So developers can write applications once and deploy across all of our product lines. The bottom line is this. The Magento Go platform will enable developers to create applications quickly and inexpensively across all of Magento solutions. How exciting is that? The Magento Go platform is currently in beta. Tomorrow, you'll, you'll get to see one of the apps uh, developed by one of our partners. So how will merchants access apps created on the Magento Go platform? Well, that's still work in progress. I can share with you a few of our, of our ideas. Many of you are familiar with Magento Connect, our listing place for Magento extensions. The next generation of Magento Connect will be our version of an app store, a fully transactional e-commerce marketplace. Our goal is to turn Magento Connect into the iTunes of e-commerce, a merchant-friendly application marketplace that simplifies the process of connecting developers with merchants and creates unprecedented, up, un unprecedented opportunities for developers. Magento already generates huge revenues for developers by providing them with access to the world's largest merchant base. In fact, we're constantly hearing that developers are making huge dollars developing uh, for the Magento platform, oftentimes more than they do for the iPhone uh, or the Facebook platform. So stay tuned uh, in the next uh, few weeks to learn about where we take Magento Connect next. Our team is excited about Magento, uh, our team is excited about the Magento Go and the Magento Go platform, and we can't wait to see what merchants and developers will do. And when I say we can't wait, I mean that literally. 
So instead of waiting for marketplace uptake, we've created a $1 million e-commerce stimulus fund to jumpstart the process. Yes, we're giving away a million dollars worth of Magento Go services, and this program will translate into a full year of free or discounted Magento Go services for thousands and thousands of merchants. With this $1 million fund, Magento is stimulating the e-commerce ecosystem and accelerating adoption of this breakthrough offering. Of course, our deployed products continue to be at the core of e-commerce. But we envision a future in which merchants, partners, and developers move seamlessly between, between multiple distribution models to realize their business goals. Today's announcements move us in that direction, positioning Magento at the core of e-commerce wherever e-commerce is happening. So this morning, you've seen what's new. Now the real fun begins, working together to imagine what's next for you and for e-commerce. Before I turn the stage back to Bob, I want to share one last video and a few, a few of our partners and customers talk about where they want to go in 2011 and beyond. Let's take a look. The decision to use Magento directly correlates with our plans of expansion. And uh, where Magento is going to play a main role is enabling us to offer our different audience groups uh, very good, consistent, and easily manageable experiences through different websites but on the same platform. It's just a different platform. Uh, it's an enterprise-based platform. We're able to very confidently grow with it. Um, it constantly keeps adding in features uh, and that's definitely uh, been a huge portion of our business. For us, I mean, we've been, we've been incredibly happy with Magento and we see the power and flexibility of the platform. Um, we have no other reason to look at alternatives to Magento um, for a future needs. These e-commerce installations, when we put Magento into a site, that customer is going to stay engaged with us forever. We're aggressively hiring. Uh, this year we've already hired seven or eight people and we continue to hire and we continue to staff up. We're actually building out a new support center to support our Magento customers. So we're very excited about the future. By keeping those customers happy, which we're finding is really easy to do with Magento so far, that allows us as a business to prosper. So as Magento is flourishing, so are we, and so are our customers. I want to thank the partners and merchants who participated in these videos, and thank again the Magento team for their incredible work over the past year in getting to where we are today. But most of all, yes, thank you, thank you. But most of all, I want to thank all of you for being part of this conference. I'm really looking forward to the conversations we'll be having over the next two days. And together, I think we can imagine and create an incredibly bright future. Thank you.